Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to a another video, folks. It has been a long while, but look at this. This is now my Shadow Main army. I have chosen one that is going to be my permanent mount. But we have 20 battle ready Shadow Mains. So I have named them Battle Shad Shadow Mains. <laughs> and if you hear any meows in the background, that will be my cat. She is just wanting some attention off of me. And whoop, eh, eh, take it easy, cat. Take it easy, Bell. All right. So this is what we're looking at. These are 20 shadow mains. They are leveled. They are, I mean, they got leveled in cryopods, but uh, they are ready to go. And uh, as you can see right here, this is what I'm going to be working with. Now, the question I've got is, will we be able to use these guys on all and every bosses? And uh, that didn't really sound right, but uh, you know what I mean. I intend to use these for all boss battles. So I guess uh, there's only one way to find out, and of course we're going to start testing them up. But first things first, let's put these guys away. So as you can see, I have named them Battle SM, which is basically Battle Shadow Main, and I have numbered them just in case I lose one. So it's just a little thing that I do to make sure that I always have 20 Battle Shadow Mains. And... Um, that's pretty much it. We are ready to go. I think I'm going to get ready for some of the small uh, mini bosses and uh, we'll see how they fare against that. They have had points pumped into health and damage. Uh, they've got about a thousand or just over a thousand percent damage. Uh, so with that said, let me get some stuff ready and we're going to go and fight a boss. All right, making my way to Baylor. I am being followed by a friend. His name is Mike. So hopefully everything goes nice and smooth here. This is the first boss that we'll be doing, and we'll see how my Shadow Mains fare against it. Now, I have prepared with gas masks, and uh, we'll see. Uh, I think she shoots out some poisonous stuff, and I feel like gas masks might be what we need to not die that is the plan now, i know it's somewhere around here yes that's right bill that's right somewhere around here she's giving me directions just uh to let you know she wants to partake in this video because why not and uh yeah i feel like i see the entrance do you think that's the entrance bell there we go let's go in there yes yeah, so uh for those that don't know, I do have a gamer cat. <laughs> she will often sit with me whilst I make videos. Most often quite... Oh, hello, compies. No, no, go away. Oh, these things are annoying. Oh, I can't even aim them because there are so, so, so many of them. Um, I need to get my shadow main out. There we go. There we go, that'll do. That'll sort... Jesus Christ, there were quite a few compies there. Um, but, uh, yeah, we are ready, so I'm just going to kind of give Mike some directions as to what to do and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you guys when we are ready to fight the boss. Um, I'll get another Shadow Mane out for him. Right, here we are. I'm getting my stuff out. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> that could uh, be very easily interpreted as a wrong thing, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Getting my lovely, lovely shadow mains out. I think that is pretty much all of them. I have packed away my wyvern. I don't want it getting hit whilst I'm here fighting the bosses. Put this on and making sure that everybody's set and ready to go. I like how restrictive from a vision perspective this mask is. So just let Mike know what to do here. There we go. Right, I'll wait for him to be ready. And then we can begin the fight and see how this looks. Now this is, I suppose, to start off with a bit of a test here. I don't see why these guys shouldn't be able to face this. Seeing as this is a mini boss. Not, I mean, it's a world boss. It's not that powerful, I would like to think at least. Um, but... You know, I have been wrong in the past, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to hide behind my shadow mains, and then we'll give them the order to attack everything. There we go. There's a shadow main pile right there. 
Uh, she's going down right quick though. I mean, granted, uh, by the looks of things, that not all Shadow Mains are hitting her. So, trying to get a couple of hits on her as well. Now, what's cool about Shadow Mains, if you have a pair, you can actually buff them up off the mail. So, that is what I will be doing. I'll try to keep them buffed up. Uh, keep my eye on the buff timer, because that actually does quite good. Uh, I wonder if you can stack it up with... A, so so basically one of the things that's working in my favor right here you can see some really high numbers is one will make boosted two i'm on a male shadow main constantly buffing the other shadow mains and uh, yeah we're doing some real good damage on baylor and uh let's do this uh i don't think they've taken too much damage so it looks like she's gonna go down right quick right now there we go baylor has been defeated uh, her body's somewhere there. Now, I need to figure out who got what. Uh, but I do also... Where is my thing? Oh, darn it. I forgot my taxidermy tool. That really sucks. I'll need to go and get a taxidermy tool. Uh, figure out where I put it. <laughs> right, we're off to fight uh, these two bosses right here. I think it's Skull and something else. I don't remember what their names are. There we go. Let's put... 30 of these things here and craft one get on my shadow main hattie and skull that's it uh right i'm a bit stuck here <laughs> righty ho let's go tell you what oh that's a lot of fire there i'm not sure what's happening there um but i do like that howl that howl is well amazing definitely scary <laughs> Now, I have got a taxidermy tool with me, so I'm hoping to get the skin off of these things. And eventually, as I build up my base, I'm going to have some little uh, taxidermy stands or bases with skins put up. That's going to look right cool. I do want some decorative things on my base when I get to that point, of course. Huh. Well... This fight seems to take a bit longer than the Baylor one, and this is just one of the two bosses. I really like that howl. Really love that howl. That is so, so nice from a sound perspective. I know one's tougher than the other. I've just randomly selected one and just put all of the Shadow Mains on top of that. And then obviously once we're done with that, we'll move to the other one. That is cool. I like the explosion as well. Right, so Hattie's been taken down. And we're now on the other one. This one's going down right quick. It's always funny because I've got 20 shadow mains, but only a few of them are actually landing hits because the others can't reach them. Right, let's go and get the skins. If I can get there. <laughs> ah, there's one. So we've got a skull. Where's the other one? Hattie. Done. Done and done. We've got the skins. That's fine. I can do Bela over and over again. Uh, and I get the feeling I'm going to be farming these bosses on repeat quite some time now. Um, I need to figure out what loot we got. Apparently these guys drop loot as well. But uh, we'll do that off camera. Uh, generally, I believe that they tend to drop quite good stuff, I'd say. All right, I'm back here again, and I've got some stuff with me. I'm going to split the stack. I saw something that has interested me. Uh, normally, I came here looking for Maywing, but I kind of came across this right there. And uh, why not get myself a gacha? I might use these. I might not. Um, we'll see. But these guys are fairly easy to tame. And I'm just using some thatch foundations there, which again are very easy to craft. Okay, he's doing all right. Just gonna stay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> all right, I was gonna go on my mount just to stay safe. This is not a very nice area to be in. Uh, a lot of dangers and everything. I uh, will put you up in a ball. Um, 
I don't think I'm gonna bother with levels for these guys. I don't know if levels actually do anything for their production. Um, I feel like it doesn't. All right, cool. Right, as I said, I'm still looking for May wings. That is what I want to get my hands on. That would be a decent flyer. Uh, they tend to be quite fast. They're very. Um, I was looking for things that might be dangerous. What's that thing fighting? I don't see any May wings. Let me just uh, gamma up here so I can see a bit better. It's going dark. So I'm just wandering about aimlessly, looking and exploring the zone. I know uh, in the past I've seen May wings here. Well, in this area, not here specifically. I don't know where they would spawn, so I'm just going to have to take it on foot and... Hello. 95. Uh, I'd like something a bit higher than that. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, well then. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to net you out. And uh, there we go. You have been netted. Let's trank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All it took was one trank. Right, well, what I'm going to do then is I am going to wait for this thing to starve out. Whilst I clear the area out, we don't want any of these things complicating my tame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, come back here. I know you're going to come back and be a pain. Let me just get rid of you. Now, I don't have anything to tame it with, um, kibble-wise. Uh, but I am going to use the cooked mutton. And hopefully that'll give us enough levels on the May wing here. Okay, that Tyrannodon for a second had me on edge. <laughs> right, uh, well, I'll just wait it out and... Uh, I'll come back when I think this guy is ready to be fed. Okay. Everything looks nice and clear. Find a good spot to keep an eye on the zone. Right, I think... We should be ready. Yeah, um... Yeah, it's hunger's gone down a bit. So there you go. Give me some of those. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Pass them on to you. <laughs> that would help. All right. I think I might have enough to tame another one if I can find it. I'll take that. And put you away. Let's see what else I can find around here. I'm going to continue exploring. This biome does have a lot of stuff. Oh, there's another one right there. What's that? Okay. Oh, hello. 150. Yeah, yeah, why not? I wasn't uh, hoping to find another 150, but uh, I'll take it. Why can I not net you? What's going on? This is annoying. Yeah. Can I not use a net in this area? Let me try this then. So, I don't know if I can use a net gun or not in this area, but uh, I did remember that one Trank Arrow is enough to knock it out. Now, of course, I am using a modified Trank Arrow, which does do a lot more Torpor. Whilst this guy is down, um, I'm going to go and have a look at something that I found interesting. But before we do that, I just want to have the main wing on the Taming Tracker. That Pegomastax is really annoying. <laughs> Uh, it's bugged in the sense of, I don't even remember when I tried to tame such a thing. Um, I think I know where it is located, but uh, yeah, what's that over there? Yep, uh, okay. I didn't quite get the level, but clearly not what I'm after. I mean, in all honesty, I'll take any and all May wings that are 150. They are a bit flimsy, they don't have that much health, and I do like stuff with a lot more health, if I'm honest. And I think my cat's found a plastic bag to play with. I can hear some rustling in the background. But this is a nice village right here. Hello. There's my taming food right there. <laughs> and the high level with uh, with this sheep. 
I would have liked to have brought some cakes with me, but I did not, sadly. So I guess we'll just harvest you. Oh, silly, silly Meganura. Why did you have to pick a fight with me? Okay, I'll drop that because we're a bit heavy. But this is a nice village. I do apologize for the darkness here. Okay. I feel like I should get some of these off of you. And we will chuck it into the main wing. Now, I'm very worried about this Bronto around here. Because if it aggroes onto something, it has quite a decent AoE. And I do not want the main wing to be hit. I do not want my taming effectiveness botched. There we go. We're not going to call you S. <laughs> we'll put you away. And uh, I shall continue doing some exploration around here. Let's see what else I can find. This is definitely a nice little zone here. feel like... Uh, I mean, I definitely like that village. I'm going to be honest. So I found something. Um... That I don't know if I want to tame these or not. Generally speaking, I prefer high levels. But uh, as you can see right there, we've got some gotchas there. We've got these right here. And yeah. What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> I still have those foundations. I get the feeling that I'm not going to find anything high level. So, with that in mind, I guess I shall start taming these. But I'm quite happy that I've got these. I might keep uh, an open mind and hopefully, mm, yeah, might get some more gotcha at some point in the future. Set up a gotcha farm. I feel like that would be quite good. That's a female. Okay, cool. Well, I do still have those foundations. They're kind of in the way. I don't really... I don't know, do I want the low levels or not? I feel like I should get them. They might help me out. Um, I guess it depends on the resources that they drop. Where did I put those foundations? There we go. I'll take these. And let's drop these down here somewhere. Whoops. <laughs> Can we get this guy's attention? Is he going to want my presence? Uh, it looks like he's having it. it. Looks like he's having it. Oh, well, that's good. That's good news for me. There's another gacha for me. Let's put you back in your ball. Did you leave anything behind? Oh, oh all right. I'll take it. And... I'll tell you what, I've got enough to tame this low level one, I think, I hope. Yeah, you're level 20. Uh, I've got just 10 foundations, so you took... Uh, okay, I might be a bit short on foundations here. That was level 50, and it took... Um, out of 50, yeah, it took 40. Yeah, we're going to need some more foundations. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just craft a few of these. <laughs> Try and not hit the gotcha. That'll be key. We don't want to upset it, and we do want to tame it. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Going to need some fiber. Going to need some thatch. Can I harvest these for fiber? Yep, yeah, yes, I can. Right, I'll do that. Grab these. I'm just counting the fiber right now. I know I'm getting stuffed with berries as well. Alright, we've got some fiber. I'm going to need some thatch as well. Let me see. I feel like foundations are the best to use. Yeah, okay. That's... I'm just looking at the numbers now. Right, let's go and get some thatch. Oh, I hate this slow movement whilst uh, we're crafting. Hey, you dropped a crystal. I feel like I want to take that, but I don't remember if you aggro if I pick it up. Uh, for I'll tell you what, let's drop all these. See what you do with it. 
sorry, am I in the way? <laughs> Let's see if you have these and that's good enough for you. Don't know what you're eating, but you're definitely eating. Yeah. Okay. Well, we lost some taming effectiveness on it by the look of things. Yeah, 80%. Seventy-eight percent. We've lost quite a bit of taming effectiveness. It still has a couple of things to chow down on. Seventy-six percent. Seventy-three percent. I mean, it's only level twenty, so I wouldn't have got that much, anyways. Apparently, you're one hundred, eh? There you go. Enjoy. I lost only about three levels by my calculations. Anyways, I'll craft some more foundations and I'll try and get the other gotchas as well. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do with them. I think that is the plan going forward. I do have two gotchas. I, I want to open that crystal. Oh, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Why not? It's a good resource. We'll get rid of these. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we don't want to be throwing that one away. Um, there we go. I've got a lot of stuff here that I don't need. Okay, right. Well, that is pretty much it. I think I'm going to go and get some more foundations sorted out eventually. Um, let me just have a look around here. And I'll come back and I'll do this. And uh, I think I might do some more exploration after that. I want to see if we have any more Maywings around here. I know that those are there, so... Unless they get killed by something, but I haven't really seen anything bad in this area so far. Uh, well, there we go. Scratch it up. I've seen some scorpions, but uh, they won't last very long. <laughs> Not when they're fighting two mammoths. And Okay. Alright, this is interesting. Well, I am not going to turn an Alpha down, because why not? Alphas are good, they drop all the stuff that we need for the world boss battles, so we'll take that. Uh, but I think I'm pretty much happy with what I've seen. I have tamed more than I actually expected. Initially, I was after Maywings, but I've got me some gachas, which is going to be useful uh, once I figure out what resources they like to drop out. And so I need to set up a gacha farm eventually. Um, I'll hold on to them for now. Maybe, hopefully, find some higher level stuff. I'll take this. Oi. What's your problem? Jesus, man. <laughs> Didn't really want to harvest them, but that is fine. I am really, really loving these Shadow Mains. They are so, so cool. So versatile, very good at traversing the terrain here. And also, oh, hello. No, no, don't like those. Uh, we're going to go the other way. <laughs> That's trouble. Uh, okay, I don't want to get dismounted. We've also got gas bags around here, so that's something I could potentially look at taming, although I don't really see the use for gas bags. All right, well, I'm just going to go around here, but I think I'm going to call it here and find my way back to base and uh yeah call it a day we'll see what else we can do in the next episode uh, i'm gonna have to start getting some artifacts ready and stuff for the big bigger boss fight and uh yeah that's gonna take a while but that is pretty much it for this episode folks thank you all so very much for tuning in and choosing to spend your time with me i really do appreciate it and of course as always until next time stay safe folks